hello everyone welcome back to another video and thank you so much for your support i see that a lot of people have been viewing my videos lately and uh, happy to help the community in terms of any knowledge i have to share in any of the cryptos that i personally am invested in or i am totally interested in before i start my video today's video would be basically on why jetstar would is a legitimate coin and it cannot be a scam coin or on the other side why is jetstar a coin where it cannot be rug pulled so why is it that we can see that there is a lot of potential for this coin one and even if you get into it now and you feel that someone is actually coming back to you and telling that yes this is a rug pool kind of a coin why is it not so uh, i'll explain to you in the technical aspect as to uh, pertaining to what liquidity pool is and stuff like that so please do watch out till the end of my video for proper information and the right information that i would like to share with you this is not related only to jetstar this works with any of the other coins which are there in the market so please pay attention to what i would like to uh, you know put across and do support me by subscribing to my channel sharing this video to others so that the knowledge can be spread across and do hit the like button and comment below on your views on what this video has taught you and again before i start the same old disclaimer i am not a financial advisor neither is this a financial advice it's just my interest of sharing my knowledge and please do your own research before buying any tokens in the crypto space having said that uh, let's get on with the video content so there is a concept of liquidity pool which is involved with each and every token that comes down to the market wherein any new token that launches will have to provide a liquidity pool for the trading to begin so in simple words uh, if you are comparing this uh, aspect to a stock market there must be a purchase uh, if there's a purchase that has to happen there must be a maker or a buyer and there must be a seller so a buyer can only purchase the stocks in the market if there is a seller willing to give the stock or the uh, uh, in that particular exchange at the particular price which the buyer is asking so for example if i want to purchase an apple stock for 100 dollars there must be a seller who is available for me in the market to sell it to me at 100 dollars only then will i be able to go ahead and purchase that to particular stock provided the seller is not ready to sell it to me at 100 dollars or i do not find any of the sellers in the list long list that they have then my order goes as uh, you know uh, closed or surpassed wherein you will not be able to get your stock but with liquidity pool that process of having a buyer enabled is totally eliminated so when i say speaking to uh, uh, jetstar as a token you say jetstar and bnb are two pairs that you will put into a single liquidity pool a liquidity pool is con uh, you know containing a specific number of tokens in 50 percent 50 percent ratio that is if I say 100 tokens are there as part of the liquidity pool, then it would be 50 tokens of Jetstar and 50 tokens of BNB. So that's how it works with the liquidity concept. So here what the creator or the team who is creating uh, this particular token Jetstar has to do is they need to provide a particular pool where it contains a specific set of Jetstar and a specific amount of BNB, both in equal quantities. Now the best option or i mean the best thing that has happened with jetstar is that they have locked their liquidity pool for an entire duration of one year you can see that they have locked their liquidity pools uh, to an entire duration of one year now what does this mean since they have locked the liquidity pools to one year you will not be able to liquidate or take off those funds and sell the tokens which are there in the open market thereby you will not be able to do a rug pull so what is a rug pull in the first uh, place a rug pull is something that happens when the provider the liquidity provider of the token ideally the liquidity provider will always be the creating team or the team behind the development part so any one uh, person will have a wallet it is simple as a wallet in fact so it's just a wallet for you um, I, and that particular wallet will be the acting as a liquidity pool which contains both the uh, particular tokens so anyone who is actually controlling the wallet will have access to sell out all the tokens and make the liquidity pool zero and once liquidity pool becomes zero you will not be able to trade the tokens 
neither will you be able to buy or sell them and that particular person who has taken out the tokens from the liquidity pool will be the rich and all people holding the tokens will be scammed or rug pulled as they call it so this is the entire concept of how a rug pool works but why jetstar will not have that occurring the main reason being liquidity pool is locked out no one has access to it for the next one entire year now think of it this way why would a person who would like to scam you wait for one entire year for the scam to occur now liquidity pool just to quote uh, obviously the liquidity pool will contain a very high amount of tokens and that will be in two different tokens that you will have it's not just jetstar as a liquidity pool that you will be having you will definitely have jetstar with uh, combined with another token which is bnb currently you might see other pairs where uh, individuals would have provided a liquidity pair to swap or conduct trading in the uh, 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 swaps right so if you consider uh, where, what can I give as an example okay mm. yeah let me just take Shiba Inu as an example in Shiba swap if you go down to Shiba Inu token you can also see that you can not only trade ETH to Shiba Inu you can also trade BTC to Shiba Inu, you can trade WETH to Shiba Inu, you can trade Bone to Shiba Inu. So each this particular pair has a separate liquidity pool enabled and not all these liquidity pools that are created are from the developer side. Now Shiba Swap did have that option where individually you could provide liquidity from your end by providing both the token pairs in equal quantities and you would be rewarded. So the same thing happens when anyone else who would like to provide a liquidity goes ahead. So here it's just the developers team currently where they have provided a liquidity pool and that particular liquidity pool which is on a higher note is locked out for an entire year so once this is locked out what would happen no one would have access to this for the next one entire year so no matter the price falls down to a very low extent you will definitely be able to sell your tokens and trade them even if you do not want to get into the project or you got into it now and later on you felt like you want to cash out yes you can do that and that's where you see that the legitimacy of the project is very nice and you cannot get scammed because you uh, the liquidity pool entirely is locked and it's always available for the next one entire year for you to trade so what happens if it is uh, unlocked within the uh, before the one year uh, term well that is absolutely not possible because as you can see the mudra lock certificate the this is a third party uh, locking mechanism that has happened and it is not in the under the control of the dev team also they cannot actually withdraw the certificate because i've already paid the amount they've already got the tokens locked and that's like a timer okay consider this as a certain safe where it is where it is already set to a specific timer and unless and until you have the timer uh, come down to zero you will not be able to use it the only portion, uh, option available is you for you to break it and unfortunately this being a online digital currency you cannot break the safe over here right so uh, taking that into consideration guys so be ensured that the liquidity pool will not go anywhere and you will be able to easily trade your tokens for the next one entire year taking that into account thinking like i was coming in a different angle if the team is not so uh, hellbent in terms of getting a project out to the market getting a product which is a uh, something of a change that they want to do or they want to establish their name they want to establish the community they want to establish their product in the market why would they actually lock up their own liquidity for the next entire one year duration if at all it was a small uh, unit of people who want to create a scam coin they, they would have just created it they would have created a lot of hype over it uh, again, I would like to quote Baby Saitama. Uh, let me just quickly go back to Coin Market Cap. And uh, before I go ahead, guys, this is not not a token which is actually related to Saitama Inu. So please do not get confused. Or if anyone wants to even go ahead and uh, you know promote such related baby coins, please do not fall for it. Any coin which has a baby associated with it, maximum number of those coins are actually fake. So be very careful and the affiliations of the original project will never be there with any of the baby coins. Just a moment. Okay. Have baby Saitama. 
yeah all right let the graphs load i think the graph is gone since this has been rug pulled and it's taken off the charts right so yeah you can see that the rank has also gone i mean i was able to see the view the graph yesterday it was like an all hype train you just go up to the price to a certain extent and then it's all falling down and at the end of the day you see that the token price has reached a zero value okay so that's how uh, it happens and most of these scam tokens do not have a liquidity pool lock that is done do not have a stable uh, uh, you know a pair uh, or a stable project to even code for see it's all about the hype anyone can come out and create a website using a template or uh, spend some time in creating a, their own website and say okay we are going to do this we are going to do that and uh, this is what we are going to revolutionize or uh, this is what we are going to bring down we are going to bring down a game like crisis we are going to bring down a game like uh, dota 2 we are going to bring down a game like whatever the big games that are out there i mean warcraft i mean anyone can do that hype creation but how often will you see projects which stick to the word and work on development rather than just the hype now this is what i really liked or uh, uh, you know I, I would like to really quote about jetstar team because i have been part of many of their discussions uh, and on telegram and uh, even while the discussions happen they are not hyped uh, okay they do not want to you know create a hype in the community which will uh, you know probably ask people to get into the coin as soon as possible and uh, you know just want to pump the price that's not their agenda altogether they want true holders they want true supporters they definitely want each one of you to go ahead and uh, pitch into the coin whoever is interested but then again the investment that you do guys please do not treat it as a short term gain ensure that your support is always there with the community people and the developer team because this is an amazing team as far as i have seen and i have spoken to few of them as well so uh, considering that this is an amazing team and we have good amazing things coming up so coming back to the liquidity lock portion like i said since this is done there is no rug pull chance for the next one year at all so since they have locked it for one year i know they have certain good things upcoming we have we have our new white paper which is due to uh, come very soon and they did quote uh, that in the next one or two weeks they are going to have more updates for us which will definitely you know provide more insight on what the next token would be or probably give us more input on what they are planning to do with the nft launch or uh, stuff like that that is something that we'll have to wait and watch but then again nothing happens immediately or uh, very quick give them time give them your support invest and wait it's a waiting game because it's just on 24th august that the token has launched very very early saitama took a couple of months uh, to actually see some kind of price action which is happening right now shiba inu took almost a year time initially yes there was a bit of a hype and yes we did get in through it and there was a long consolidation period of many months even now it's in the same consolidation period and it's all that certain good projects or good products definitely take time you cannot go ahead and wake up in the morning and say i've created a wallet i've created a swap it's very easy to just link another swap to your website rather than creating your own single swap and like i quoted providing liquidity you will have to spend so the person if tomorrow jetstar comes out with a swap of their own right not linking to any of the pancake swap or uh, i think i'm not i'm not saying it would happen but just saying if in case they plan to do it and if it happens if they are creating their own swap system they would have to spend a certain amount of money or resource to create a liquidity pool now to all those scammers out there they wouldn't do that they would be creating a single liquidity pool or sometimes that liquidity pool also will not be there you will never be able to trade the tokens at all okay so initially what they would do they would create a small liquidity pool so that people buy in and as and when people keep buying and trading the liquidity pool keeps replenishing itself based on the contract that they have so the trading happens to a certain extent once they reach a certain amount of price the liquidity pool is still owned by some individual they just remove the entire liquidity pool they cash out that's your scam and in the second concept uh, people do not have a liquidity pool at all they just go ahead and uh, ask you to you know probably airdrop the tokens to you 
and uh, ask you to go ahead and unlock it and while you are unlocking your wallet access is taken and you will be losing your coins so i'll be doing another video on how you can avoid scam because i just got two scam coins to my wallet yesterday or a few days back i believe but i was just going through the binance uh, bsc scan website and that is when i found out yesterday that this has happened uh, i'll just do another video please do watch out my channel for uh, that video when it would be launched probably today or tomorrow wherein i'll explain to you on uh, how the scam is happening on certain uh, tokens or dust attacks that they usually speak of how the dust attack would happen and how you can avoid it how you can identify it how you can avoid it so please stay tuned and uh, watch out for that video that i would be making later on so again uh, think of it this way think of all the things that i've spoken right now verify it if you still feel yes i can go ahead and invest in jetstar please do so because we are still running at uh, you know around 600 odd holders let me just check the current holder count where is that oops yep all right that's good so we see 613 addresses hmm i see a couple of them have sold it okay it doesn't matter to be to be frank i, I guys i've seen a lot of wallets having very low amount of tokens uh, in fact if you go down to the last probably you would see i'm sorry these are transfers get down to the holder count go down to the last <laughs> You can see people with just 40 tokens, 41 tokens, 39 tokens. I believe these are there, you know, uh, probably just as for the timing. And these might be the ones who would be selling or these might also be the ones uh, who would be accumulating at a lower pace. Okay. I'm not saying that these are the ones who would be selling, but just keeping you informed that, yes, there are people who are trying to sell, trying to bring the price down. They just want to break, the, you know, take their profit. That's absolutely fine. Not so much worried, but now is a good opportunity for people who want to get into it because of two reasons. Again, quoting two reasons. One, the first thousand holders uh, in Jetstar with the minimum token of thousand Jetstar with you in your wallet will be eligible for a free NFT drop. And trust me, these NFTs are looking killer. I don't know if they would be receiving the same NFTs, but yes, you will be receiving certain NFTs from Jetstar. And also the second thing is if you are in the top 100 holders eliminating the liquidity pool wallet and the uh, uh, you know the uh, what you can say the burn wallet i'm sorry the burn wallet yes it has burn in place please do check out my video on the token review for getting more details on that so eliminating those two the top 100 holders in wallets uh, which are having uh, you know sufficient amount of uh, tokens of jet they will be receiving special nfts uh, just to give you another quote let me just quickly open my telegram uh, they have grading on um, how they are going to go ahead and probably break down the nfts uh, that they are going to give away, uh, give away so yeah it says mythical would be the first 1 to 15 wallet holders legendary nft will be wallet 16 to 35 epic will be 35 to 36 to 60 and rare will be 61 to 100 so this is how they have broken down and uh, i mean i believe anything that you get for free which is again legitimate is still a good option right so don't miss out on that get in early before the thousand number occurs so that at least even if you are not in one of the top 100 holders to get another extra nft you will be receiving one single nft and uh, how you can go ahead and check how you you know where the nft occurs please do check out my ama uh, details video previously which i have launched yesterday so you, i'll be have explained in trust wallet or metamask or coinbase uh, wallet how you can actually check if you receive an nft all right so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching please do subscribe share and support so that i can make more content for you guys thank you so much have fun